My name is Willow O'Farrell and I'm a volunteer uh, with the Community Asylum Seekers Project. CASP, you know, operates on a shoestring budget that is mostly by no donations and grants. And in my capacity as a volunteer, I've been with them for like a year volunteering and I'm the team leader coordinator for one asylum seeker. Asylum seeker is someone who is fleeing you know, their country of origin for various reasons, any kind of reason, and they're, they're petitioning the U.S. or another country for asylum. My name is Zella and I'm sixth grade. My name is Salaha. I'm just sixth grade. I come from Afghanistan August. And my father got like 12 a.m. to leave Afghanistan. And in August, Afghanistan don't have any president. Taliban come here mm -hmm. and nobody goes outside. Taliban coming in the home, some people give me money, somebody no give it, uh, they are kill her, and Taliban goes and her um, family all were killed, like my cousin. The difficult part of living in Afghanistan is I don't say goodbye to my friends. People are waiting around in limbo for years and years, not even sure if they're going to be deported from this country. But CASP is able to provide some basic needs. What CASP always says is um, solidarity, not charity. You know, like we are in solidarity with immigrants. My name is Vasanti Mia. I'm a science teacher at Shelburne Community School, 5th and 6th grade. I don't know what they saw, how it felt when they left Afghanistan. I'm just impressed every day with their happiness. I come from Afghanistan to Tajikistan and to Italia and to America in Italy. They are so good, they are helping people and Tajikistan too and to cook up to America. We stay for six months to New Jersey camp. Was in the winter really cold and so many people and they are going to stay in the line for clothes, for everything. So cold. I, I come from uh, Kabul. Um, Air for for four days. Afghanistan to Washington DC and then to uh, Virginia camp for six months. I don't like Virginia camp and food too. And then I come to Vermont uh, January twenty seven. I I talked to Kate and Christy at CASP about their annoyance with Vermonters talking about immigrants mostly in the capacity of their economic of the ec economic gain to Vermont by having immigrants move here you know because it can be very like dehumanizing and capitalistic to talk about immigrants in that way like they're useful to us because they take jobs no one wants you know like that's awful i i would just hope you know if i had to flee my country i would hope people would treat me with care and respect and dignity wherever i ended up and so I feel like it's my responsibility to treat people who are coming here to Vermont with dignity, care, and respect. I was just reading about when a child is like, 
one or two years old, it already has, you know, 150 words or something. So that's what you have in your language. And that's what we have had. And you guys are always playing catch up. I wish uh, more people know about it's so hard to learn um, different language. It's hard to work in America. New people, if you have any problem, it's hard to tell uh, English people. Immigration is probably the most confusing thing you could possibly try to understand in the United States. It is so complicated. But Sixth grade is a challenging time, so I start, you know, you start to see the cliques and the friend groups and a lot of kids at Shelburne Community School have been friends for a long time. In Afghanistan, it's so easy to make friends. They do, if say hi, I say oh. hi, and they do like, you are so cool and friend, and sometimes they can bring, then we can share. The kids of Afghanistan, like, here is like um, boys and girls together. And I'm going to and they are separate. I know at recess, they're welcome into the games. Um, they like to play four square or basketball or volleyball. Tight-knit communities in Vermont often means that there are better social services and better um, community support networks. And I think that has been a draw for a fair amount of immigrants. Being a Vermonter for my whole life, I think that I uh, was really excited to hear and see throughout my life um, how many times Vermont has stepped up and been a safe harbor for asylum seekers and the most collaboration across even the district and across the building to welcome these students. The four from our team and the their other siblings, I think, so there's eight kids total in the building. In the school in Afghanistan, we wear uniform, everybody, boys and girls. And in my school, it's like a girl wear long clothes and boys wear a uniform. And like a, they don't have a cafeteria or lunch. And if you not do your homework, teacher can hit you. I was speaking to a volunteer who works with the Afghan community. When they first arrived, she kept trying to offer them various kinds of furniture, like tables and chairs and things like that. And, and they she, just kept saying, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. If you could find some more rugs and things like that. And she finally visited their house. The whole family is sitting on the floor, you know, on piles of rugs. And they like spread the food out on, you know, communally on the floor on a, a special setting. And she was like, oh, my God, we have our cultural assumptions. and so that was a funny learning experience for her. These four especially realize how lucky they are to be here and, and they just feel very happy about being here and so it shows every day. America is beautiful. I like Vermont and my family wants to stay Vermont. I like Vermont because Vermont people are so kind and good school and good teacher teaching very well. Personally, I've done is that being from India and knowing Afghanistan is close, you know, there were things culturally that we could connect about. Uh, my favorite food I try in America, I like the pancake with the maple syrup and crepe and pizza. Oh, yeah, crepe. Uh, or pull up pictures of like, oh, you know, to explain pizza, I was talking about, oh, it's like naan with paneer on the top. And I think they started to, you know, pizza already has probably become one of their favorite hot lunches. And even how to eat it. So kind of hanging out with them sometimes when they do pick up a new item at hot lunch and showing them how you eat it. Volunteering with CASP has given me an you know, a lot of opportunity to hang out with people uh, who are not the typical white Vermonter. I also think over time at Shelburne, we've become quite, uh, quite more diverse. I think I was, you know, definitely felt like a minority for a long time, not only as an adult in the building, but just as a person of color. And 
now it's so heartwarming and exciting to be in the hallways and see kids um, in classrooms looking so, you know, diverse. I want to be a teacher, like uh, Afghanistan uh, teacher there doesn't know more English. We can go help the students. And I want to be a doctor in Afghanistan because Afghanistan is like a doctor. The United States is a country of immigrants. Unless you're Native American, you are descended from immigrants or you're an immigrant yourself. I feel proud that we've been able to host our students from Afghanistan here. I believe that more diverse and multicultural communities are more interesting communities and stronger communities.